Vlogmas, happy Vlogmas day. Let's let's turn on the Christmas tree. Yes. <laughs> so we are officially in session for Vlogmas. It's sorry, my screen looks a little dirty. Um, it is pouring rain outside. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but. It is what it is. Um, wow, I just have all my junk. I still have all my junk from yesterday. <coughs> I literally got home. I don't even know what to make for um, what to make for breakfast for my hubs. Like I'm waiting for him to get home. He's gonna be home any minute now. So let me just sit over here. Actually, let me show you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm all over the place. Um. So from work yesterday, I brought home my amethyst. This is like the amethyst that I had on my desk. And I also brought home my salt lamp because um, I'm being moved, removed from my office, which is fine um, because... Uh, because I'm giving it to my coworker. She's gonna be taking over the, she's basically taking over like the, the duties that, that I was in charge of. <clears throat> and so for the last couple weeks, I've been training her and like preparing her for the duties and whatnot so that she could take them over. And they're basically, they're basically throwing my ass out to, I mean, a lot of you guys, you guys won't know what this means because you're not, it's library talk, but <clears throat> they are throwing my ass to reference. So the reference desk is the people that you see sitting in the library where they're answering the questions and they're searching for the books that you're looking for. And then usually they go and show you where we have the books. So basically that's what I'm going to be doing from, to, from pretty much now on is reference desks and the children's reference desk <clears throat> and I'm no longer um I don't even know if my title changes much I, I guess it still stays the same like it's a, a library clerk too but um when I first got hired on I was working the front desk um checking out books to people and like making library card application like doing that all that stuff <clears throat> and I'm not doing that anymore. So um, I'll be doing the desk, which is fine because it's pretty easy. You're just answering questions and when people want to look for a book. So it's pretty easy. It's chill. It's really chill. Um, <clears throat> but in the process, I had to train my coworker. So my boss had a nice friendly way. I say, I say it like that because she can be quite like abrupt, like really blunt. <clears throat> I don't think she realizes how she comes off sometimes. I really don't, unless she does and she just doesn't give a fuck. But she was kind of like, so by the end of December, I'm gonna need you to be out of this office and I don't know where your other boss is gonna want you to be. And I'm like, okay. So because she said it like that and like, it was just really kind of really snarky the way she said it. <clears throat> um. I was like, I'm just gonna bring home my crystals now. And then I also brought home, I have like a picture frame of me and my husband that I had on my desk. So I'm like, I'm just gonna bring home my shit now and not deal with it the day, the, like the last day of work for me. Cause I don't plan on being there for much longer. And so last night, because I was like on a good one when I got home, because you know, I'm always riled up when I get home from work, <laughs> especially when I like had a day with my boss. Um, so I was talking with my husband and I was just like, let's talk like literally what is my last day of work? Like, what are we looking at here? <laughs> because I was looking at the weather app and today's weather is intense 
rain. Like it is a hundred, like literally it's so dramatic on the weather app. It says a hundred percent rain all day up here in the desert and then also down the hill where I work. So needless to say, I will not be going into work today because I am not driving in that. Like the traffic's gonna be shit. It's dangerous because none of us in California know how to drive in the rain. Um, and I just don't wanna be a part of that. Like I just don't wanna be a part of that little circus. So <laughs> I'm calling out and it was, and here's the other, the other catty thing that she said to me yesterday. She's like, so it, I saw, um, I saw that it's going to rain tomorrow, but it doesn't look like it's gonna snow where you're at. So that's literally how she said it. And I was standing there looking at her and I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna rain a lot tomorrow. Um, it says no snow, but we'll see how that goes. I go, like literally the temperature just has to drop just a little bit to get to that icy part. And I, I just literally was like looking at her like, Okay, and like, what's your point? You know, are you saying this so that you're telling me that I better not call off tomorrow? Like, what is she, what is her point? So I was so triggered yesterday <laughs> when I was like my last hour of work, she left at six and I leave at seven. So my last hour of work, I was just super triggered by her. <laughs> so that's why I was like, I'm gonna fucking take my crystals home today. Um, so I came up with, finally came up with, with my husband, like we talked about it and stuff. And I'm like, um, I think I'm going to put in my two week notice when I go to work on Thursday, when I go back, cause I'm not working today. So I'll go back tomorrow. And, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to have my last day be the second of January because we're closed for holiday of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And then the 2nd of January is like the last day of that week that I would technically have to work because then that's my long weekend week. So I think I will, I'll go in for that one day just so I could collect, you know, a little paycheck because my, 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 my paychecks, these like literally the last, these last four or five paychecks that I'm getting from work, um, I'm using to pay off the Chrysler. Like my mom sold me her car basically. So that's kind of, a, that's like a fun little thing to add into the mix of like the drama of work. <laughs> so my mom sold me her Chrysler um, and they actually bought a car last weekend. So um, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm literally gonna be putting down as much money as I can on that Chrysler. Um, before I leave my job this way, me and my hubs only have to pay off the rest of it, you know, throughout the last few months. So I, if I, if my, if my calculations are correct, um, <laughs> by my last, by my last day of work, I'll, um, I'll have put down $2,000 on the Chrysler. And then, um, by, I think it's like by June or July, I, I think it's June, June or July, um, I'll have paid the rest of the rest of my money to my mom. So it'll work out. <laughs> and having like buying my mom's Chrysler is so much more, it just makes so much more sense. It's like, then we don't have to go into buying a brand new car right away because we don't have like a car right now. Like we have my little Honda, which I would not be driving that up and down the hill because it's scary as shit. Um, it's like a tiny little two door Honda. Um, and I, you know, I'll be like, I just feel so unsafe in that car driving on that freeway. And so, um, so my husband's using the Honda and I've been driving my mom's car since like the summer. So it's nice to know that it'll be mine. Cause I like the car. I like the Chrysler. It's like very roomy. It's very, um, it's, it's just more modern than my Honda. My Honda, my Honda is, is a is an 05 and my mom's Chrysler is a 2011. So it's a little bit newer than the Honda, but my, my little Honda was like, like the basic package, you know? Like <laughs> I was 19 when I got it. It was the basic package for the car. Like it had the roll up windows. Like there was nothing, autom there was like nothing special about it. It was just the basic model. <laughs> Cause it was the cheapest. So um, my hubby is taking over my Honda. He can have it. Um, he's only, he only drives like three miles to work. Like it's ridiculous how <laughs> he's only driving three miles to work and I'm, my ass is driving like an hour. <laughs> so, um, 
So yeah, you guys, so my, I'm gonna be putting in my two weeks and my final day will be January 2nd, 2020, which is really cool because um, 2020 is fucking, it's gonna be such a good year. I think it's gonna be a good year for all of you guys, like everybody in our own way. But for me, um, just the number sequence alone, 2020 is just, it's powerful. It's also configured with my favorite number. Like two is my favorite number. So it just felt right to have my final day working a day job ever is the second of the month. So hubby's home. I could hear the garage open. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to you guys. I don't want to be like filming while he comes in because he usually comes in like, oh my God, this and this and this. So I will... See you guys soon. It is so rainy today. It's not rainy as hard as it was. Love my <laughs> it's not raining as hard, but um, it was pouring this morning. The grass is like so saturated and it feels so fresh outside. Gray clouds. <laughs> Love rainy days. Oh, check it out, you guys. Oh. Yes? Look at your look at all that litter you guys leave on the floor. <gasps> I have to vacuum. Yes. Hi. Hi, my baby girl. You're never on the videos anymore. Hi. Hi, my Luna. You're so pretty. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my Luna. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Hi, Starla. Starla. Hi. Hi, Starla. Stinky girls. <laughs> you stinky girls. You're so lazy. They love to look outside. They love looking outside and watching the rain. Huh. Huh, my baby girls. I got a vacuum. But I'll do it a little bit later so Daddy could sleep. Okay? Yes. Go, go cuddle with daddy, my Luna. Go cuddle with him. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> yes. What's the matter? Hmm? What's the matter? What's the matter? Starla. Hi. <laughs> You're such a squeaker. You're such a squeaker. Hi. Hi, my Luna. <laughs> She goes, leave me be. Yes. Hi guys. So I ended up putting some eyebrows on. <laughs> Just eyebrows and some mascara. So I'm not like completely crazies. But today I'm gonna make chicken soup and I'm gonna do it for lunch because Hubs will eat it. He'll eat it for lunch and then he won't have to worry about like having to pee, my bra is so weird. He won't have to worry about peeing all night. Like, that's like the one thing he is like, I don't want to eat soup because I don't want to pee all night. So I'm gonna make it for lunch so that he can have, <laughs> so he can eat it now. And then we don't have to worry about him peeing all night. Cause he's so picky. So I'm gonna put together just a small, a really small batch of um, of the uh, soup. What am I eating? I need my onion and my potato, and I think that's it. So you guys are going to be with me while I prepare. You're probably not going to see much of me, though, because <laughs> too much. Too much work to 
to put the phone on like to balance it out and stuff so all right so everything's got to fit in here i'm only making a small batch so i bought um what's it called drumsticks <laughs> to make it really easy so what i'm going to do is rinse these off and then throw them in the pot I should Sorry guys, I should have moved the phone so you guys see what I'm doing. <laughs> Duh. Okay. So, that was a fail. What I should have done was have it like this. But basically all I did was I washed I washed the chicken. Um, I'm not gonna have it on camera because I know some people might get grossed out by that. So I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I don't wanna gross anyone out. Um, and then I'm just gonna add everything. So I'm gonna add probably, it's probably half an onion for flavor. And um, all I'm doing is gonna add onion, carrots, and potato because my hubs doesn't really like any of the other extra stuff. So I'm only gonna use half an onion. So let's just cut this in half. And then I'll use this side. So this side, I could, ooh, he gets the onion is sneaky. Where's my little Tupperware? So, you guys use these I love little Tupperwares but I have like an one for onion and one for garlic this one has halved onions I guess I could also throw that but he doesn't he's not an onion person these look still good you know what I'll save those so yeah usually I would just put the onion in here and I stick it in the fridge I have this size this guy so I'm just gonna stick him in a Ziploc baggie, like a little lunch bag. Put him in the fridge. I'm all showing you guys how to cook, like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just put him in the fridge to use another day. Or like if we barbecue, my husband likes to use half an onion to clean the, the barbecue off, so that's kind of cool. And then let's, let's do this. So I'm gonna cut the back off and then peel. <laughs> Make sure I get all of the skin off. I usually like to peel like an extra layer of the skin just to make sure I get it all. stinky okay so that's gonna go like that in the bowl because then it's easy to take the onion out when it's whole like that because like, like I said my husband doesn't like he's not an onion person I am but he is not <laughs> and then I bought two big potatoes because I figured we might have even only just used one but um and then I also bought oops I bought a bag of carrots so let me you guys can see what I'm doing <laughs> um, I'm gonna peel the potatoes so peel the potato and peel the carrots so I could put them inside the soup 
and I like to be mindful. I just, I like to use, oh, I'll just use the same bag. So the same bag that my, my onion is in, I'll try to get all the peeling in there. And to be honest, I think the potato, I could actually keep the skin on it because you could eat the skin. Do I want to peel it? <laughs> It'll make it really soft. Yeah, I better peel it. <clears throat> Just real quick. Real quick. I love my peeler because it has like the little, it's like I could hold it and it just makes it so much easier to peel. My dad has like one of those little old school ones and I could never for the life of me do it. So that's kind of funny. I usually just get kind of messy with it because like I said, you could eat the skin. There's nothing wrong with that. It's gonna get soft anyway, like a baked potato. And then I cut it in half. Like I cut it in halves so that you get like a nice chunk of potato in there. So usually it could be like this, but I'm gonna cut it in one more half so that it's not so huge in the soup because I only have so much space. And then I haven't decided yet. I know my hubby likes carrots, so we'll do carrots. And I don't know, maybe I'll add another potato. I like to buy those little smaller potatoes, the baby ones, but I couldn't find them in the market. And they're probably right in front of my face and I just didn't see it. Cause you know, that's how it goes. But <laughs> I could not find them, so. The babier, the smaller potatoes work better because you could just literally just throw them in there. <laughs> but we do what we can. So when I peel carrots, I don't really worry too much about the ends because I, I chop them up anyway. But just so long as you get the skin off, you know? been craving um, chicken soup for so long you guys I'm so excited <laughs> I bought lemons because I love to squeeze lemon in my soup to give it like that citrusy flavor and oh it's so good and then usually like I'll use usually I'll do a whole chicken if I could find like a small like you know like a little smaller size chicken then I'll do a whole chicken and boil it but um, it's just me and my husband, so technically we don't need all of that. <laughs> so I just bought the drumsticks because they were on sale. And I like to make my chicken soup with, um, chicken with the bone in because when you cook it with the bone in, you get more flavor. And this is all earth vibes, you guys. Earth energy, like carrots, the potatoes grow from the ground. So if you're working with your root chakra, which I know I am all the time, <laughs> gotta ground myself. Um, eating foods that are from the ground literally is the way to go. So carrots and the potatoes in this soup is everything. Oh, 
All right, so that's easy. Okay, so then let me just rinse off my hands. So I can touch my camera now. <laughs> okay, so what I do next is um, I cut the, the carrots. So like I said, I just, I usually cut the ends off because you don't need that nasty stuff. And then something this size, I usually throw it in there because it gets soggy once it's been boiling. Um, but you could also just cut it in half. My mother-in-law my mother -in -law makes her soup and she puts whole carrots in. So I love it like that when it's like really chunky. And it just comes out so good. So the smaller the carrot, the faster it'll cook because there's not a lot to cook. So like something this size will take a long, a lot longer. So I'm gonna chop him up in like little sections. This one might take a while, but I'm gonna let it boil. So just toss it all in there. I have four chunks of potatoes, which I think this is more than enough potato, but, cause this is a big potato. <laughs> but you know what, I'm gonna do it because that's all it is, that's all it is is potato and carrot because he doesn't eat, he doesn't like the green. He, I, usually like I'll put celery or green beans. Um, but he doesn't like that, so. I'm like, he's so basic. <laughs> My poor honey. Is still raining you guys like it's been raining non-stop and I heard thunder earlier I took a shower and I did a quick blow dry just to get my bangs dry and um, I heard thunder so that was kind of pretty okay so like I said the potato you know, I always cut the butts off like that's just how I am <laughs> so I just cut them in half and then and half again because he's a big potato otherwise if he was one of the baby ones I would just throw him in and toss him in my pot so my pot is not deep at all like he's not deep at all so I do my best um okay so then next after that um we add the water and we let it boil I know I'm using sink water, whatever. <laughs> Everything's gonna start to float. And then you just want to boil it until, you boil it until the, until the meat, the skin falls off starts to fall off, you know? So obviously you boil it till the meat is cooked, but until the skin falls off. So we have it like that. Um, I'm probably gonna put a lid on it because I have a lot of water in there. You can also add um, the nor seasoning, like the the chicken bouillon, but I like it just that. 
I literally like it just like that because the chicken, um, when it when you're when you use the with the bone in, like I said, the broth just has so much more flavor, and um, I add lemon to mine and stuff, so I don't really add the seasoning, but you want it to boil, and then you're gonna want to like take off the the top layer of um, foam that you'll start to see collecting and then add water as you need to um but basically you'll know it's done when your chicken is falling off the bone <laughs> and it's that's it super easy super super easy so Now I just gotta clean up my mess. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you guys, I love that. I love like, I love, I love cooking things that are easy to cook. So, soup is super easy. You can do, you can do a lot with it. Super easy and it's delicious and if you're not feeling good, it just makes you feel better and all that good stuff. So, that is the end of that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Look at how crazy my hair is. <laughs> I'm gonna wash the dishes and yeah. Thanks guys for tuning in. When you're, you wanna boil the water, you wanna get the water to boiling first. And then once it's, once it's boiling, you put it to simmer with the, with the, without the lid. Um, so I put the lid on so it boils faster, but you know, you can leave it off. And I'm always worried too, cause it's pretty much full almost to the top. Um, but once it boils, then you can simmer it and, um, they say like 20 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. You pretty much, you know, the chicken is done when it starts falling off the bone. That's how you know it's cooked. And then obviously like your potatoes and your carrots will get soft and stuff. Um, and then that's it. So you boil it and then put it to simmer, which is what means just like you put it on a very light flame and then let's just let it cook like that. And it's so easy. It's so easy. So I just want to make sure I made that clear because I know some of you guys... <laughs> Some of you guys like take cooking lessons through my videos. Like some of you are like, oh, I learned how to, you know, I did this. And I just wanted to make sure I'm not like boiling it full blown the entire time. So it's taking a while to, to start to boil because there's a lot of stuff in there. And then the water was cold, but it'll get there. <laughs> it'll get there. And then you'll, you'll also get a, a layer of foam, like foamy stuff over the top because of the chicken and all of the broth and all that. So all you gotta do is like scrape the foam off with like a spoon, toss it in this in the you know just toss it down the sink, um, and then usually once you do the foam like that one time it's good, um, and then you know put it to simmer. So yeah. So we're getting a little bit closer to boiling, um, but that's see how like the foamy stuff is. That's what I was talking about. So you'll want to get kind of like a big spoon. This way you can have more ability to scrape it, and you just kind of go through and collect it and then you have all that and then you just toss it. I just toss it down the sink. Um, and you're just kind of cleaning it out. So I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. You can always add more water if you have to. You really, like, when you put water for your soup, you guys, you just wanna make sure that your vegetables, your chicken mostly is covered by water because that's how it's gonna cook. Obviously, it's boiling. Um, if you don't get all of the foamy stuff, that's okay. It's just, it helps to have a nice clear soup. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. We're not perfect. I don't have as much, there's not as much foam because um, I don't have a big, like a lot of chicken. Like I said, it's just, literally it's just drumsticks. Um, but if I was using a whole chicken, there, there would be a lot. There's usually like a lot of foam. <laughs> so, 
So as you can tell, like it's really get, it's getting really close to boiling. So I'm just gonna leave the lid off, and then um, it smells. It already smells good. <laughs> the onion really helps to give it that yummy flavor. I love it. So you just keep an eye on it, and then as you see more foam coming up, clean it off, and eventually the foam stops to build up. So. So we are officially boiling, and now I'm going to turn my flame down to like, maybe like that. So it's a low flame. And like I said, <laughs> just keep going through, getting your little bit of foam, whatever you can. It's not, it's, you're not gonna get it all. But when it's not boiling as much, it's the foam doesn't come as much. Like it doesn't, you don't get a lot of it, so. And there you go. So basically you have it like it's a, at a gentle boil and it's like it's literally just simmering and I'm going to put the heat thing for like 20 minutes <clears throat> just so I don't forget because <laughs> I'm going to go sit down and read. Um, but check on your chicken. So if you have tongs, like I love using tongs because it's easy to grab. Um, but you'll want to go through and like, you know, check on the consistency of your potatoes or check on the consistency of the chicken. And when it starts to, when it looks, you'll know it's cooked because it's like falling apart. Then you'll know it's ready. So, yum, you guys. Delicious. And it's past and, oh, excuse me. Um, the chicken is already showing signs of falling apart, as you can tell. <laughs> But the potatoes are not as soft yet. So what I did was I moved around. Um, I kind of like brought the chicken up a little bit so the potatoes can kind of sink towards the bottom. This way it'll give them a chance to cook a little bit stronger. Um, and then you'll know it's done by the way everything looks. It smells amazing. Um, but... Um, the carrots and the potatoes are still a little bit too, just a little bit too hard. So I put the flame up just a little bit more. I might even put it up a little bit stronger. And if you put the flame up high though, you gotta keep an eye on it because if you're letting it sit and boil, um, you'll risk like <laughs> it overflowing, which is not fun. And then it's a, it's a bitch to clean up, so. <laughs> So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much waiting for those potatoes to get a little bit softer. So if you want to, you know, ensure that your potatoes and everything clear like cooks faster, then like I said, the smaller, the smaller the pieces, the better. But this is the way my mother-in-law showed me how to do it. So it's freaking bomb when it's done. So once I got it to reboil, <clears throat> um, I have it reboiling on like a medium medium high flame I guess you would call it <laughs> um but it's boiling and it doesn't it's not boiling over so that's it's a pretty good boil um I reset the timer for 15 minutes so it's there's like seven minutes left um because I really wasn't sure how long how long I needed to boil it I'm just kind of playing it by ear right now literally like that's all cooking is like you really can't <laughs> You really can't fuck this up it's soup um the chicken is cooked you could tell i mean when it's like like how do i explain this like when it's like blown up like that you know what i mean like it's open it's cooked the chicken is ready to it's done like it's it'll fall off so um i'm not worried about the chicken but it was the potatoes and the um carrots that i was so a, a little trick that i have is Take a fork, or if you have, um, if you have, what's it called, um, toothpicks, that works even better. But stab the middle. See how it went through really easily. Oops. <laughs> See how it went through really easily to the potato. So you just want to stab the middle of the potato. If one of them is soft, they're all soft, okay? Because I pretty much cut them all the same size. And then you want to kind of do the same thing with the carrot. I already stabbed one of the carrots like one of these chunky ones and see it just went in so 
it's done like it's a, it's a soft carrot so when one of them goes in it they're all pretty much the same as long as you cut everything pretty much around the same size um so pretty much the soup is done so i'm just gonna turn it on real low really really like really low like basically the flame is off um that's like a real real low simmer just so they could stay warm and then my hubs should he should be waking up sometime soon so i'm gonna make myself a bowl and um some of you guys are probably wondering like do you keep the whole chicken like yes i do <laughs> so um it's just drumsticks so what i would do is i would make a bowl i would get like one of the one or two of the potatoes one or two of the carrots one of the drumsticks literally the meat is so soft it'll fall off i usually pluck out the onion because like i said my husband doesn't like onion so i don't leave that in there to eat it it's just for flavor um, and so you could, you could, you could strip the meat yourself if you want to, but I just pour it all in and I eat it out like, like that with a fork and it's just so delicious. So that's the way I eat my chicken soup. <laughs> I know you could shred it and all that, but that's too much work. <laughs> and my mother-in-law taught me this way. She just has the whole pieces of the, the meat and the whole pieces of the potato and the carrots. Everything falls apart as you're eating it because it's so soft. Um, so you could like rip it up yourself when you're when you have your bowl of soup But that's basically how I eat it and then I cut up half of a lemon squeeze the half a lemon in there and Or just to taste however you like it. You could also add rice if you wanted to so you could cook like um, Steamed rice and pour some rice in there um, But I don't really care for rice in my soup. I just like the soup. So <laughs> that's just me. I'm weird um, but yeah Hopefully you guys got something out of this. I'm sorry if some of you guys were grossed out by the chicken, um, but it is, I did put the warning there, so sorry, but I am so excited. I can't wait to eat.